Hello and welcome to this episode of JG's Wonder Kid Spotlight, where we take a look at some of the players that are in the Wonder Kids database that I have created. Link available in the description where we link to FM Scout where you can download it. Anyways, today we will be taking a look at Emre Demir. He is a Turkish youngster who recently made his debut in the uh, Turkish First Division for Kayseri Spor. And he is regarded as one of the brightest Turkish talents in a long, long time. He's been making consistent appearances in the Super League for, well, since November, I believe. And he is, well, now he's 16, but at the time of his debut, he was only 15 years old. Uh, he's an attacking midfielder, but can play also on the wings. But I'm going to play him at second midfield. And the club that we will be playing him in is AS Roma. And the reason for this is that I didn't want to place him in a top potential club because I wanted to see if he could lead a club that's a sub-top club. No, no offense to Roma, but they're not right up there at the top. See if he could lead them to some titles. As you can see, this is actually a slightly different version of the database where his positions are slightly changed. He's still primarily an attacking midfielder, but and that's how it's also going to be. This, this you see here is what it's going to be if you download the database yourself. As I said, he's left-footed. His, his potential ability is between 150 and 180. That will vary depending on the save file you load. I've set it to the maximum possible because we want to see what is his maximum potential. What is the best version of himself he can be? And as you can see, his stats are very suited to the attacking midfield role. First of all, a quick look at what the tactic that I will be playing him in. This is a nap tactic. It's called Holy Ghost Fire. It's a 4 2 3 1. It, it's quite simple. Uh, Emre Demir will be playing in the attacking midfield attack role, surrounded by wingers, deep line playmaker, box to box, la la la. I will also make sure to link this tactic in the description. Um, so, yeah, this is what he's going to be playing as. And is there anything else we need to look at? I noticed he actually has 20 in natural fitness. This happened through random variation. This is not something I've set him to be. Um, so he's probably going to have a long career even after he switches away from Roma in 20 years time. Anyways, he's not going to be available to play for the first season due to the whole non-EU rules present in the uh, Serie A. So we're going to skip forward two years and see how he gets on. And here we are, two seasons in. So as we can just quickly see here, his first season he didn't play. As said, that's due to the non-EU rules present in the Serie A and Turkey is not in the EU, no matter how much they want to. Um, and as we can see, he's actually done really well. He's played every single game in the Serie A this season, scoring 9 goals and 4 assists with a 7.12 average rating. Now it's worth noticing that attacking midfielders generally don't perform super well on this match engine. We're going to see how he does, maybe he can be an exception, but I'm not expecting fireworks. So a 7.12 average rating in a role that's not Shadow Striker, this is actually pretty decent. Like These are decent stats. Um, as you can see here, he's already gone up from, I did not note down what his current ability was at the start, I believe it was 93 or something like that. Uh, you guys can see that in the database if you play it yourselves, or just go back in the video. Um, but yeah, so he's gone up to 126 at the age of 17, which is pretty good, especially because a lot of the key stats for, let's just switch it to the attack roll, a lot of the key stats he needs for this roll have gone up to 16. So 16 dribbling, 16 first touch, 16 long shots, 16 passing, and 16 technique. And 12 finishing, but doesn't need that much finishing. His mentals and his physicals aren't superb, but um, again, he's only 17, so those will only go up. How have Roma been doing? They finished second this season. Uh, let me just see here. Yeah, they finished second this season, finishing behind Atalanta. Well, that wasn't one I expected. But uh, huh, Spal's in the Europa League. Well, so that's also something. How about last season? Same with the last season. They finished second behind Juventus this time. So that's a little more predictable. Might be the term to use. Um, so yeah. Emmer Demir, two years on. He's doing pretty well so far. Let's skip, forward, let's skip forward three more years so we end up five years from the start of the game. 
And here we are, five years on from the start of the game. Emre Demir is now 20 years old and has been playing for Roma, well, five seasons, but he's actually only been playing for four seasons. Current ability is 140, which is less than I'd hoped for. Considering what we've observed on previous player spotlights, how they generally look after being four seasons in, 140 isn't much. He does, does not have much determination though. His professionalism and ambition are both set to 20, hence his personality to maximize his development. I wonder if his determination has a lot to say. I don't know. Anyways, I did also notice last season he only played 17 games, so I assume he got a severe injury. He... no way, that's... oh no, this is last season. So he did... he was out for almost half a year with two consecutive injuries. That's just unfortunate. Versus Juventus and Real Madrid. So that's just unfortunate. How do you fracture your ankle while sprinting? That's weird. Does he have like bones made of, I don't even know, gravel? That doesn't even make sense. What am I saying? Who cares? If we just take a quick look at his attributes. Again, he's developing into a very some, a player very well suited to this attacking attacking midfielder. Does that make sense? It makes sense. He's got 17 dribbling, 12 finishing, 12, 17 first touch, 16 long shot, 16 passing, 17 technique, 14 anticipation, 14 composure, 16 decisions, 14 flair, 17 off the ball, 16 vision, and 15 agility. Again, these... Sure, there are some holes in his game, in his, especially in the physical area, but the thing is, for the stats that he needs to play the role that he's playing in, this is fine. This is actually really, really good. I'm going, almost going to guarantee you that he's playing better than 140 current ability might suggest, although I am seeing his average ratings, and they look a little tragic. Let's just take a look. Okay, so that is actually quite tragic. So far, his best season has been his first season, his first year as a 16, 17-year-old. That's actually quite sad. Um, but as said, attacking midfielders aren't that favored in this year's FM, but I, I was hoping for at least above a 7. Gonna be honest, at least above a 7, just like he had in his first season. And his goal numbers, his assist numbers, they just aren't as good as they were the first season and as I would have hoped for. So, I'm actually a little disappointed by this. Let's skip forward five more years. This will end up when he's 25. That should be approaching his peak, and hopefully his current ability will reflect that. So, um... Let's go find out. Okay, here we are. As we can see, despite him being 25 now, he hasn't actually quite hit his potential ability. In a minute, I'm going to skip forward a few more years just to see if he does. But he actually is still lacking for, for current ability. Admittedly, not much. Probably won't make a major difference. But it's interesting to note, nonetheless. However, his attribute development is nuts. Like, wow. In the last five years, I just noticed his bravery has gone up by six. I believe it was three before. So his bravery has gone up by a lot. His physicals are actually looking... Again, they're not good physicals, but they're all right physicals now. So, like, I, I wouldn't be worried about that side of his game anymore. He's got he's got excellent technique. He's got excellent, excellent off the ball. I'm almost sad we don't have a 20 aside from the natural fitness, but um, it is what it is. And all the stats that he needs for this role are just... He has them all. Could do with a little better finishing, maybe a little better flair, but those are elements of his game that are so relatively minor that I honestly don't think it's a major concern. Anyways, let's just see. How has he actually been doing in the league? Let's see. Where did we check last time? That is the first season after we left. So that was actually... Then the season after that was actually his worst yet, so that's just sad. Uh, got a little better there. Got even more a little better there. And here, as a 24-year-old, he finally had a season to match his very first one in Roma. Scored less goals, had a bit more assists, same average rating. However, I actually just realized, this most recent season, 6 goals, 11 assists, free player of the match, but a lower average rating. I don't know what the quarter that is, but if we just look at the goals and assists, that's probably his best season yet. Sure, he scored a few more goals than other seasons, but assists-wise... Definitely his best yet, and also in regards to player of the match, his best yet. Let's see, anything else interesting that we want to note? 
How has Roma been doing, actually? They won it this year, I see. Uh, yeah, so they, they beat Juventus by 15 points. Wow. Um, how have they been doing otherwise? They've actually been doing really well otherwise, because I realized we didn't actually check it this uh, the last time we stopped. So they've actually been doing incredibly well. Also unrelated, I didn't actually realize Roma were that high up in the league standings in previous years, like in real life. I didn't actually realize that. Well, I've learned something today then. But as you can see, they've won it. This year was the sixth win, the fourth in a row. They were disrupted by Inter for two years there, but they still finished runner-up in those years. So Roma have actually been doing really well. What about... Have they won the Champions League or anything similar? They finished runner-up in the Champions League twice. Well, that's just a little sad. They've won the Coppa Italia one six times in the last ten years, so they're doing really well on that. And they've won the Super Coppa four times. So it seems like we've reached a point where Roma are the most the most dominant team in Italy, I guess you can say, because they're winning the domestic competitions. They haven't won in Europe yet, but I do kind of hope that we can get to that point. Um, let's just skip forward, I think, three more years, then he's going to be 28. If he's going to hit his potential ability maximum, it's going to be around that age. So um, let's just hop forward a bit. So, I'm going to be honest, I don't think that Emre Demir is actually going to hit the 180 current ability. Why he hasn't, despite playing every game and being in a club with excellent training facilities, who knows? There are so many random variables when it comes to player development in Football Manager. So honestly, I'm not going to put too much into that, but he definitely can hit 180. I choose to believe it because his determination started really, really low, and even now, 13 years on, it's only at 7, which is really not very good. However, we got a 20. He has 20 off the ball movement now. And of all the super relevant stats, aside from Flair, his lowest is actually 17. So all the selected attacking midfielder attack, all the green ones are the most critical ones for that role. If we look aside from Flair, which is important, but less so, the lowest is 17. So he's actually really, really well suited to this specific role, which is great. How's he been doing? So he's actually putting in some more consistent high level seasons this year. I'm surprised he's not having more assists, gonna be honest. Scoring quite a few goals. So actually this most, if we go by average rating, this season just passed is his best. Six goals, six assists, two player of the match. Doesn't sound too great, but a 7.21 average rating. So, and then there's here, 11 goals, five assists, but a slightly lower average rating. So that depends what you choose to prioritize in your player, I suppose. But yeah, let's skip forward to 2039, which is his last year as a Roma player, see if he's actually managed to guide them to any major titles. I'm thinking Champions League. We already know that they've won the Serie A, they've won the Coppa Italia, they've won the Super Cup. I want to see if they won the Champions League. I actually realized I'd forgotten to show you guys the progress graph. And I figured at 28 years old, that's probably the last solid opportunity to do that before his physicals start declining severely. So here you go. Let's just take a look. Is there anything of note here? Nine composure. And then a lot, quite a few sevens and sixes. So in general, he's just developed a lot all round as a player rather than focusing in one specific area. So I don't really know what to say. Is there anything of note that's weird? See, as I was, what I was talking about, he only gained two determination. I believe it started at four or five. Um, so yeah. I wish he had gained a little more flair, but it is what it is. But yeah, that's his uh, development. Now, let's skip forward to the end of his Roma career. And here we are. We are in 2039. This is 20 years on from the start of the game. Emre Demir is 35 years old, but due to his incredible natural fitness, he hasn't actually declined that much. I don't know why he has so many upwards pointing arrows. That's weird. That's actually incredible. That's interesting. He's apparently developed a lot over the last month, despite being 35 years old. Um, but yeah, as you can see, he still has 148 current ability. His stats still look great for the role that he's in, like no, no question about it. 
dribbling has fallen off, his physicals are dropping off, but because of the massive natural fitness that he has, it's actually not as bad as you might fear. So that's also an FM lesson for you if you didn't know that. A player with high natural fitness, his peak is going to last longer, or at the very least his decline is going to be a lot more stretched out, so he can keep playing at a high level for longer. FM wisdom of the day for you there. Um, so yeah, let's see. How has he been doing for Roma? They won it again this year. The question is... Oh wow! So since last we checked in, that was around here between these two victories. Since then, they've won every season. Like, there's no two ways about it. They have completely dominated Italian football. Like, that's actually quite impressive. I didn't expect it to be quite that dominant. Maybe for the future, instead of using nap tactics, which are known to be very strong, maybe I should just set up some default tactics from the game. Because winning everything, just like when you play it, when making the videos, gets a little boring. Perhaps I should just set up some default ones to see if it truly is the, the, the star players that are pulling up the club. Or maybe I should just pick a low-end club, like pick someone who was just promoted to the Serie A in this case, or a bottom-end Prem club or something. I'll figure that out for the next time we make these videos. Anyways, what was I doing? Ember Demir. Yes. Oh yeah, I was checking. Where did they actually win the Champions League? <laughs> they did not. They finished runner-up twice more. So despite winning the Serie A, let me just see here. So 19 total, we started there. So that's 16 times total over the last 20 years. That's 80% of the Serie A season they've won. They haven't managed to win the Champions League. And I don't know if that's damning of the Serie A or damning of Roma or what's going on, but it's a little bit sad. Let's see. They won the Europa League once, and they also won the Super Cup. They won that in 2033, so that's six years ago. So they have won some things. They've also won the Coppa Italia a lot. They've won the Super Cup a lot. But they haven't won the Champions League, and that's a little sad if you ask me. Anyways, let's just skip forward to just before he retires, see if he keeps doing anything at note at Kayserispor. And this is indeed the last season with him. We are in 2044, so he actually kept playing for five more years after he left Roma, all at Kayserispor, where he also started. He's 40 years old. Let's see, uh, I can't see his stats there, so let's just look here. He's still got 100 current ability at 40 years old. I think this just highlights how much natural fitness can actually do for you when it comes to the longevity of your playing career. Sure, his physicals have dropped off a cliff. His dribbling is literally one. But honestly, if we just stick him in a deep-lying playmaker role, I'm just going to leave this here so you can see the, the stats that are highlighted for a deep-lying playmaker. Like, that's still decent. That, that's pretty solid. Sure, he's not going to be a star player for a Prem or a Champions League winning team, but for the lower leagues, twilight years of his career, he'd be a phenomenal deep line playmaker. So that's worth remembering for your future career mode. Natural fitness, it does help a lot. Um, what's he been doing for Kayseri Spore? <laughs> oh no. Oh no, he didn't actually. I just realized he hasn't, I was just about to say, oh no, he had his best season ever at Kayseri Spore after he left. But then I saw, because I realized we actually forgot to look at this, but he actually didn't. He had a season here at Roma with a 7.37 average rating. And the season right after that was probably, in my opinion, his absolute best, where he's been, I assume he's been 31, 32 years old here, 14 goals, 9 assists. Average rating a little lower, but in pure numbers, this is probably his best season as a 31-year-old. Um... But yeah, he managed to keep Kayseri Spore up in the Super League. I don't know if they're actually a relegation candidate. I have a suspicion that they are. I don't know much about Turkish football. We could also actually just take a look. I'm just an idiot. How have they been doing? Kayseri Spore. Oh, uh, I don't have the league loaded, so we can't see that. Damn, there goes that idea. But they haven't won the Super League. They haven't won the Turkish Cup. So yeah, that, that was somewhat less interesting than I hoped it would be. I just want to check something. I highly doubt it has happened. I just want to see. Let's see. Has he fin He hasn't won it. But has he finished in the top three 
of the Ballon d'Or. There's, there's Mukoko. He was our last episode, so he's good in this one as well. And again. Yeah, I... I hey, Mukoko. So Mukoko is clearly a very good player, even on the safe that I'm not controlling him in. T I'm sorry. Tammy Abraham winning the Ballon d'Or for Barcelona. What? Well, all right then, Tammy. See, that's something I did not expect to see. Good on you. Yeah, so now we're back at the point where, yeah. So, Emre Demir has not done anything of note, unfortunately. Wait, that was my manager profile. So that's not the one I wanted. That's the one I wanted. So, yeah. So, as you can see, clearly an excellent player. But attacking midfielders just aren't great in this version of FM. Oh, God, his physicals are so bad. Anyways. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, do leave a comment if you have recommendations for any other player you want me to do this with. It doesn't have to be from my WonderKids database, it can also be one that's in the game from the start. This is entirely up to you. Anyways, thanks for, watch thanks for watching and have a nice day. Bye.